Goodison Park, the restricted views, the wooden seats, the tiny concourses, the surrounding houses. Quite possibly my favourite stadium in the Premier League, outside of Villa Park, obviously. A proper, traditional, old school English football stadium. Despite the fact their new stadium looks absolutely incredible by the Ducks, I will be gutted when they move because we are sort of losing the old school style stadiums in this country. So, potentially our penultimate trip to Goodison, if that all goes well and Everton survive, of course. Anyway, on to the football. Another absolutely massive game for Villa because it is so, so tight at the top. It feels a bit weird, really, because we haven't played in the Premier League for over two weeks now. And once this game's out of the way, we won't play for, again, another two weeks. Obviously, forget the FA Cup for now. So it's crucial we do our job and keep up the momentum in the league. Villa have got an absolutely cracking record against the Toffees, both home and away. And obviously, the first game we played this season, we battered them 4-0 at Villa Park. Everton have lost three in a row in the Premier League. But for me, I think Dyche is doing a very decent job there. I know, ultimately, it's pretty irrelevant, but they'd sit in 12th if it wasn't for that 10-point deduction. My grandmother had wheels. She would have been a bike. <laughs> you know, what do you know? <laughs> but the reality is they sit in 17th place, level on points with Luton, so they'll be fighting today. Anyway, good news this week with Yuri Telemans and Paul Torres being back in training. Do not underestimate how massive that is. Anyway, let's crack on with one of my favourite away days in the calendar. Let's get up to Liverpool. Good morning. Hello. The time is 7am. What would you rather be doing on your Sunday morning? Nothing. I'd drive a bit bent to be honest. <laughs> but you know what? I don't know. I'll be all right in a couple of hours. On the away day, day. It's come on. Uh, back on the away days, yeah. <laughs> Everton away, I, I said in the intro, it's one of my favourite away days. Traditional ground, I love going to Everton. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. This could be like one of the last times we go, maybe that maybe next season could be the last time if they stay. Obviously, they probably will, but uh, yeah, I love going to Goodison, yeah, really traditional. Got a win today as well, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it feels weird at the moment. It feels kind of like relentless. We have to just keep winning to yeah. sort of keep up the pace. I mean, not in terms of winning the league. I think I said to you before, like, I, I don't think we're in a title race properly, but I suppose we are on pain, though, but not properly. But, I said to you like yesterday, like I think I think we're in a race for a top four. Yeah. So we need to be consistent, we need to be relentless. So yeah, coming here today, you need to be winning yeah. really. Welcome to a very rainy, wet Liverpool. Jamie, how are we, son? You OK? Here we are, back on the road. Back on the road. What do you reckon today? You're saying 3-1. Should we go early? 3-1 again? 3-1, 100%. Like I said. Fancy us. But do you know what? This is our year. Oh, I hope you're right, son. I love coming here. I absolutely love coming here. Goodison just over there. Anfield just over there. Going to go to the pub now. Have a little look around. Looking forward to today. Right, it's still the crack of dawn. I don't even think it's 10 o'clock yet, so I think it's time for a breakfast. Right then, Billy, Everton away. What's your score prediction, mate? 2 0 Villa. 2 0, we're going to win. Yeah. Who are your goal scorers today? Louise and Cash. Oh, I love it, son. Give us an up the Villa. Such a quality ground, Goodison. Literally, their main stand here, the Gladys Street, houses just here. I absolutely love that. So traditional. Like I said earlier, Goodison Park. It's one of the best to come to, and it absolutely top class. Right, done a lap of the place. I think it's time to get in there. Away end just here. Let's get inside. You've got something to show us, haven't you? I have had enough of this league, <laughs> taking all the money for granted. <laughs> look at clubs like this, widowing away. Now nah, look, we are only joking. Like all the yeah. stuff with Everton is like a shame to see. Yeah. But you've, you've taken them as support for support Everton, for or just to take the mick. Maybe a little bit to take the mick, but it's okay. And I'll keep saying it, but this is some ground, then it could just some part. Yeah, it's proper, I have to say, it? it's it's one of those staple grounds in yeah. the Premier League. It'd be a shame when they're gone because I tell you what, it's got a lot of history behind this, and you you can sense it. Yeah, like just sat here. Just um, when you come in, you can tell the history yeah. here. Team news has just been announced then, mate. No sign of Ramsey, no sign of Torres. It's no. not the greatest sign in the world. Obviously, nice to see Tielemans back, long lay yeah. in the back. Could have been better, I guess. Yeah, I wonder where Ramsey is. Yeah. Strange, Ron, Concerning but, one, that, isn't it? Yeah, but look, we've still got enough there to, to, hopefully, get, to hopefully get a win today. Score so. prediction, what are we going for? We're still going to go for 1 0, Villa. See, I think 1 0 as well. I'm going to go 1 0, Watkins to score as well. If he does score today as well, it'll be his 50th Premier League goal. Rice, we've got Alfie. What do you reckon today, nice? Score prediction? 2 1. Oh, we're going to win today. Who's going to be our goal scorer? Do you reckon? Watkins and Yarvin. Oh, I love that son. Give us a biggie stop the villa you've got. Stop the villa.
greatest start ever. Everton having a couple of half chances, nothing too serious. Some finish from Moreno, by the way. Proper some finish. Viva Moreno! Told you it was close. Definitely, definitely look close. <laughs> How long is this taking? How long is it taking? Is that the longest ones we've had? Ridiculous. Absolutely yeah, ridiculous. I mean, it looks clear. <laughs> it, it looks clear. It looks absolutely clear that he's offside. Why does it take so long? It looked clear. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what a save. Oh, we've grown into this game so well. Playing some really, really good stuff. Bailey, Watkins, Louise all involved. Really, really good football then. Oh, good save, Pickford. This guy's loving it. we're not one up to be honest. Everton have had nothing for the last sort of 20, 25 minutes. It's been all Villa. What a save. Calvert Lewin then was one on one with Martinez. Close that was. Have you seen that then, mate? I think it's been okay. We had that spell towards the middle of the, the first half, didn't we, where we created a couple of chances. Bailey's had a good effort at goal. Uh, obviously, the disallowed goal as well. Everton have had a couple of chances. Not offering too much, though, are they really? No, I think we weathered that early storm, didn't we, to really sort of regain sort of control of the game. Haven't created enough for me, though. I think we've had a few little bits, but we haven't created quite enough yeah. for me. I think we need to see a little bit more in the final third. But, yeah, overall, it's been okay. It's, it's been okay. I mean, we haven't given them much, have we? I mean, yeah. they had the one down here, didn't they? They like to press us really high, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. And that's so that's a bit of like risk and reward, isn't it? It's a bit yeah. risky for us, but it can, it can give you a lot of rewards. It kind of has. I mean, Moraine has a lot of space. Yes, left absolutely. Inside. It's been okay, it's been okay. I think we probably were a little bit unfortunate not to be going in one nil up, to be honest with you. But yeah, second half all the time. Chances will come when they chances will come. How long, how about that disallowed goal? How long did that take? I mean, it's Bye. weird though, because we've seen on Twitter that they were checking something else, but Bailey, from the replay we saw, looked miles offside. Well, it looked, yeah, it looked fairly obvious. I mean, from the replay, it looked fairly obvious, and we saw just here, but. Yeah, I just don't get why it takes so long. Four minutes. I mean, Mental. this is the longest one I've been involved in either, <laughs> at a game, at a game four, really. So, just crazy. Just need to speed up the process. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Second half coming up. Come on, then, Villa boys. Oh, corner ball. Come on, Villa boys. Been a slow start to this second half. We need to get going again. Start creating some chances. Watkins has been unbelievable today, by the way. How is it not a Watkins? This ref ain't got a clue when it comes to yellow cards. Terrible referee, but Villa creating a couple of things. McGinn chance then. Come on, Villa. Bailey and Diaby off. Haven't been too impactful today, especially Diaby. Duran comes on, that's an interesting one. Telemans as well. Good to see him back. Yuri Telemans. Go on, son. Oh man! 15 to go. It's a bitty game, this. Yes! Oh, what a block! What a block! Oh, this is chaos. Oh, that's a chance. Major chance. Five to go. Moreno gets in behind. I think it's cash. It's that Branthwaite with the block. It's unreal. Chance. Three minutes to go with the 90. There'll be a little bit of added time as well. Yeah! 
Some Everton fans have clearly never watched Villa before. We play offsides. We play a high line. And it works. Chill out. Sit down, shut up. Sit down, shut up. Come on, Villa. Well, there you go. Is that the first nil-nil under Unai Emery? We were the better side today. I thought we were. Everton, they had their chances. So did Villa. It was a basketball game at times, end to end. You probably could have gone either way. We could have created more chances. But you come away with a point, you come away with a clean sheet. Everton, they're a difficult side at home as well. You'll take it, I guess. We go on to the next one in a couple of weeks. Back at Villa Park against Newcastle. In the Premier League, that is. Is it frustrating to not pick up a win where usually in the past couple of years we have done with relative ease? Yeah, a little bit, but I think you've got to take the positives out of today. Look, it's a clean sheet away from home. How many times have we said that this season? Probably not a lot. But defensively, we were pretty good today. Carlos and Longley. Longley especially, someone who hasn't played a lot of football. Fair play to him. I think he did a pretty decent job. I think it was going forward where we struggled a little bit today. We didn't create too many chances and the chances we did, we probably weren't as clinical as we could have been and should have been if we wanted to get the win today. I think when Emery took off Diaby and Bailey at the same time, I think we lost a little bit again. I think Diaby's in, in a poor bit of form at the moment, but I think you take those two off where they offer similar things. You do lose quite a bit. Obviously, you bring Cash on as well. Moreno, those two are the sort of outboards around was pretty ineffective up top. I thought Everton were a little bit dirty today, and I understand it. I, I get annoyed when people say that about Villa, when we sort of do the dark arts and Martinez time waste and things like that, because obviously you've got to have an element of that in your side. You've got to be a little bit nasty. But I think Everton at, at times went across the line on that. I thought the referee was terrible in terms of controlling the game. Obviously, he was the referee in the Brentford away game when everything kicks off there and Kamara lost his head. Obviously, that's down to him. But again, it's a sign of the referee not being able to control the game. So yeah, I thought the referee was was thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed. And the fact that Everton only got one yellow card today was mental. We probably should have had a penalty when Tarkovsky went straight, straight through Diaby. That's a terrible, terrible challenge. A challenge that looks like he was going in to injure Diaby. Nothing given. Shock. But yeah, I just think it was one of them days I thought yeah we probably were the better side we could have nicked it on another day but you take the clean sheet you take the point you get out of there interesting now because we've got a couple of weeks off obviously in a couple of weeks we've got Chelsea winning the FA Cup then Newcastle at home in midweek but I fancy us keep the faith keep positive we're still in the top four which is absolutely unbelievable a little bit of perspective I don't like all this overreaction perspective is key thank you so much for watching this video there will be one next week me and Simon will do a podcast that will be on the YouTube channel as well so you will be able to watch that next weekend thank you so much for watching please do leave a like on the video subscribe down below if you haven't already the support as always absolutely amazing so thank you so much leave your comments and thoughts in the comments section down below and i'll see you next week Love the villa.